Chairwoman Morris Rogers for holding this important hearing. I appreciate the witness, Mr. Shoji Chu, for uh, making yourself available here today. While many consider TikTok to be just another video sharing app, in reality, TikTok has been functioning as a massive surveillance program, collecting vast swaths of personal data from more than a billion people worldwide. This includes data from the personal devices of federal employees, contractors, and most concerning U.S. military service members and their families at places like Fort Bragg in North Carolina. As Fort Bragg's congressman, I have serious concerns about the opportunities TikTok gives the Chinese Communist Party to access the non-public sensitive data of our men and women in uniform. This personal data and location information can be harvested and could be used for blackmail to conduct espionage and possibly even reveal troop movements. While the Department of Defense and most agencies have banned TikTok on government-issued devices, I believe more needs to be done at the command level to urge troops and their dependents to erase the app from the personal devices and keep them off home Wi-Fi. Having an app banned on a device in one pocket but downloaded on your device in the other doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I believe Congress and DOD should address the continued use of TikTok on military installations as well as any use that depicts U.S. military operations. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Only if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I, I'm sorry, I may not understand the So if I have a TikTok app on my phone and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi network, does TikTok access that network? It will have to, to access the network to get connections to the internet, if, if that's the question. Is it possible then that it could access other devices on that home Wi-Fi network? Co Congressman, we do not do anything that is beyond any industry norms. Um, I believe the answer to your question is no. It could be technical. Let me get back to you. Okay, I'd appreciate it if you can answer that. I'd like to change directions real quick. Um, do you receive personal employment, salary, compensation, or benefits from ByteDance? Yes, I do. What is your salary from ByteDance? Uh, Congressman, if you don't mind, I would prefer to keep my compensation private. Okay. Do you personally have any company shares or stock in ByteDance or Doyen? Um, Congressman, if you don't mind, I would like to keep my personal assets private. Is TikTok the company your only source of employment compensation? Um, where's your other source of income outside of TikTok? It's my only source of compensation. Do you have any financial debts or obligations to ByteDance, Doyen, or any other ByteDance affiliated entity? Personally? No, yes, I do not. Does your management team receive separate salary compensation or benefits from ByteDance? Uh, we receive um, salaries from the, the entities that we are employed in, uh, but Does we do share in a, um, the employee stock option plan that is available from, from the ByteDance uh, top company. So, you're, so your primary salary comes from TikTok, but you have other compensation that comes directly from ByteDance? You can characterize it as that, yes. Does your management team have company shares or stock in ByteDance or Doyen? Um, yes, uh, we, some of our employees are compensated in shares in ByteDance. Does TikTok share technological resources with Doyen? Are the two technology systems or IT systems interconnected in any way? There are, as with many companies, some shared resources on some services, but it doesn't include anything that involves US user data, Congressman, is in Project Texas, as we talked about, stored uh, by default in American well, soil by an American be, company. But currently, there is shared technology or interconnected IT systems? Congressman, with respect, I have to get back to you. This could be a very broad question. Like, for example, we could all be using Microsoft Windows. Yeah, if you could get back with details on that, I'd appreciate yes. it. Um, can Doyen personnel or employees access TikTok user data? Not the, after Project Texas. This is not allowed. Are there employees who are employed by both Doyen and TikTok? I do not believe so. Okay, it's a, I don't believe so. Is that it? I mean, if, again, I'll, I'll allow you to come back in the written response if you could give me a definitive I, I, answer. I will go back and check to be very sure. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm also concerned about an issue that our chairwoman brought up um, about an apparent pattern of misinformation, misrepresentation from your company in regards to the amount and extent of data that you're collecting as well as how much has been accessed from inside China. There are dozens of public reports that conclude individuals in the People's Republic of China have been accessing data on U.S. users directly contradicting several public statements by TikTok employees. And I'm, I'm referencing Project Raven, which was first reported on by Forbes last October. Um, 
that our investigation revealed, I'm sorry, I'm about out of time. Do you want to respond to that? Yes, Congressman. Um, we do not condone the effort by certain former employees to access U.S. Uh, TikTok user data in an attempt to identify the source of leaked confidential information. We condemn these actions. After learning about them, we found a highly reputable law firm to thoroughly investigate the, the incident. We took swift disciplinary action against employees who were found to be involved and in, are implementing measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. We have made this team um, available to you. They, I think they have briefed many of you in this committee very extensively, and I will continue to make them very available to you.